Europe still waiting on a decision from Greece, but protesters are taking action. Tear gas and riot gear are once again on the streets of Athens. The clashes with police marked a second day of civil unrest in the Greek capital. Authorities drove back hundreds of anti-austerity protesters outside the parliament building in Athens. They're resisting cutbacks, including a 20% reduction in the minimum wage and 15,000 public sector job losses. Politicians should restart talks on the measures in the coming hours after a yet another delay. Let's get the latest on Greece. Our Europe editor, David Tweed, is here. I mean, how much longer can they keep on missing deadlines? Well, none of these deadlines have actually been real deadlines. There's one real deadline. It's March the 20th. That's when they need to make a bond payment. And what has to happen before that is we need a political agreement, first of all, and then that agreement can go to the finance ministers. They need to sign off it. If there's a meeting penciled in for tomorrow, but that could change. Then there's going to be a parliamentary vote. Now, this is becoming fairly important. February the 12th, that has to take place so that the following day on February the 13th, which is Monday, you can see the formal offer that will be made to the bondholders of the, the, these are the private bondholders so that we can, they can go through with their debt swap and write down the value of their debt holdings. That could take up to three weeks, after which the money will be unlocked and the money can be paid for that bond redemption back to March 20th. That's what's got to happen. Talking about money, China might contribute to the bailout fund? Yeah, well, you know, uh, one of our reporters has been um, speaking to an academic in China who says, that, yes, there's been a, there has been a change in the sort of uh, rhetoric coming out of China since Angela Merkel was there last week uh, visiting and there is some more sense of that that China could get involved. The other thing to watch out for of course is the European Central Bank yeah. uh, and to see whether the European Central Bank is going to proffer up its bond holdings as part of this Greek debt restructure which is going to go on. Yeah.